Hey folks, I want to share with you really quick some awesome history I found on this really cool Santa Fe caboose I found on a trip back from Northern California. Let's go. So, like I was saying, on a trip back from Northern California doing some railroad tunnels, I came across this caboose. I spotted it from the freeway, from Highway 101, actually. Uh, and I figured, man, I got to get up here and fly this thing and see if I can learn a little something about it. And sure enough, I did learn quite a bit about this caboose. And I'll share with you that information here in just a little bit and how I got the information. But for now, let's just take a look at this. Man, this is just a really cool scene. You know, I imagine this was shipped here and then placed here. Uh, there are no tracks here. Uh, you know, there's lots of uh, T posts underneath the caboose itself. And looking on Google Earth, I saw a picture that was taken on 9-19-2018 and the caboose was there or here at that location. So it's been here for a little while. It didn't just get placed here, which I originally thought maybe it did because I could see all the skid steer tracks around it and the T posts underneath. But it's been here for at least three years. But uh, what a cool, you know, sight to see because... You know, cabooses, you just don't see them too often anymore. So let's go ahead and talk about a little history on this caboose, okay? So, yeah, that's me, and I'm bigger than the train, but it's okay because it's my video. ATSF stands for Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad. Um, I guess that's who owned or the merged companies that owned this caboose uh, when it was in circulation or in operation. Um, that's kind of cool to know. ATSF stands for Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroads. The next number is actually the number that uh, I'll link in the description down below. You can find out by typing this number in that it was built in 1942 and then rebuilt in 1968. And where it currently sits which is at the Nervo Winery uh, in Asti, California. That's what's listed uh, when you type that link in. Um, the, the owner or the winery name may be different now. I'm not sure. But uh, the wine bottle on top, I don't know if that was originally built and shipped with the caboose in 1942 or if it later got added when it was rebuilt in 1968. <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, CE1, Charlie Echo 1 stands for a class of caboose that had a cushioned underframe and sealed windows. Uh, those features or additions came about, I guess, as a labor, uh, you know, part of a labor contract uh, at some point. And, you know, um, I guess those are safety features for the crew. Something else to note that's really interesting and maybe controversial today uh, is these were painted Indian red. And if you look up old Santa Fe Railroad memorabilia, it was a lot of Indian reference. Now, I'm not going to get into all, you know, what I think about that. But it is interesting to note that the color of this caboose was originally Indian red. And at any rate, you know, that's a really cool history on a caboose sitting out in the middle of a winery off of Highway 101. <laughs> what you can find on the internet from some numbers. It's incredible. Let's, you know, fly back up and pull away and kind of give you an idea of scale and how beautiful this place actually is. If you haven't done so, folks, you know, like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate everybody's input and, uh, you know, it helps me keep making these little videos and exploring and sharing. The Mavic 2 Pro did a wonderful job right here. Uh, I really love the way it flew out there, flew back. It was really stable. It was a calm day. All I had on here was a CPL filter, um, and it performed great. Uh, like and subscribe, folks. I'll link those uh, informational links in the video description down below. Take care and stay tuned for the next video, folks.